Hey everybody, it's Matt here, and today I've got the square register and a receipt printer, a barcode scanner, a teal. Basically, I've got your full square register setup. What you might have will vary a little bit, but I thought I'd run you through just generally how to get this all connected up to the square register so that it's working. I've made the assumption you've already got your square register logged in and you probably already thus know how to use it a little bit. If you haven't already set it up, make sure you head to the video up here where I'll take you through how to do that and get it all up and running. So what about everything else? Key thing is actually gonna be your receipt printer. Often your receipt printer will drive the cash drawer. You can get USB cash drawers that'll run separately. This one's not, this one runs through the receipt printer. So this is the back of our receipt printer and you'll see there we've got a bunch of inputs for this one. Over here is our USB, serial. Uh, this is the one for our cash drawer. And then of course, power on this side. On the back of my cash drawer, I've literally just got one cable that's coming out of the bottom of it. It is fixed, it's this cable. And this goes into the back of my receipt printer here. So I'm using an Epson receipt printer and most models of Epson receipt printer have the same configuration on the back. And then of course, we wanna put our power in as well. So that's a standard power cable. So I'll just hook that one in. And that is our receipt printer hooked up with our cash drawer. So it'll drive the drawer. If you have a USB cash drawer, you will need to run the USB cable directly into the square hub. So you'll just plug it straight into one of these. Because this is not, it's going to the receipt printer first. And we're then taking our USB cable. So we'll plug that into here like so. And then we're gonna connect the USB A cable at this end into one of our Square Hub USB ports. So we'll just plug that into there like so. Now I've also got a Zebracom symbol LS2208 barcode scanner, which I'm gonna set up to. Now this one, we have a cable that has this plug here, which goes into the bottom of the handheld unit. So it just slots in until it clicks like so, and then we want to run this end, which is a standard USB cable, also into our USB hub for the square. So we should now have those two cables here, one for the receipt printer, one for the barcode scanner. And if you have a USB cash drawer, you'll have one for it here as well. If you are using regular ethernet for your internet, you also want to plug your network cable into that. Otherwise, the square can use Wi-Fi. Now that we've got all those things set up, we can turn on our square register and we should now be all good to go. If we had a barcoded item, we could scan it with this. It is on, I don't know if you can see that red light flashing. There you go. To use this, you would just scan the barcode. Now, while the barcode scanner is picked up really easily, you do have to configure the printer just to tell the, the register to actually use it. So we'll click this arrow up the top to open our menu, go to settings. Then from here, select hardware. And if we scroll down, we'll see both cash drawers and printers right at the bottom of this screen. So we want to select printers, create printer station, give it a name. I'm just going to call it Epson. Select the printer by tapping where it says no printer selected. I'm going to select my Epson printer. We can now do a test print and it's printed out a test receipt for me with all of our test details on it. We can now jump back here. We know our receipt printer is working. We can say what we want to print from it. So receipts, bills, reports. I want to definitely do receipts. Uh, we can also do order tickets and order ticket stubs um, and whatnot. So I'm going to put order tickets on as well. We can choose whether we want to auto print the receipt or not. I'm going to leave that off and we can also configure what we want to go on it. Do we want to have the customer name on there? Do we want to assign a ticket number automatically? So you might use that in a restaurant setting. Uh, do you want to print a separate ticket for each item? And then of course, what items do you want to include on the ticket? And that's based on categories. Once we're done, hit that save button up the top. We should have our printer listed here and jump back to our menu, check out. We'll go ahead, we'll create that order and I'll just grab my secondary screen here so you can see what's happening a bit better. It's telling us what's on that order. We'll click the charge button. We can put in a name or ticket number now because we turned that on. So I'm just going to put it in as test, next, and select cash because I'm paying cash. And that has popped out my cash drawer and automatically printed my ticket. I've also got the option on the screen here to print a receipt. It's both on the secondary screen to print uh, for the customer to choose. And it's also on the main screen, the option to print it there. So either one, if we tap print, 
it'll go ahead and print that receipt out for us. So that's printed out our receipt fine and we can then continue to a new sale. We should have put our cash in our drawer. We can then close that up and that should all now be recorded. Now you may have seen back in that hardware settings, we did also have an option for the cash drawers in here. Now this is not a USB cash drawer, so it will not be detected. However, we can test it from here. So tapping that test cash drawer button releases the cash drawer. If you have one of the USB cash drawers that is compatible, then it will show here and you'll have options to manage the cash amount that's in the drawer. Uh, but that is not available with a printer connected cash drawer. So that's it. We're now hooked up with a barcode scanner, a receipt printer and our cash drawer so we can start processing sales. Now, if you're not doing tickets, you probably want to change in your hardware settings for that printer. We'll turn off order tickets because you're not doing, you may not be doing tickets if you're not a restaurant, cafe, that sort of thing. And so you just want to print the receipts. So we'll save that and jump back to our checkout. We're all good to go. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. It's really just plug and play with a little bit of configuration on that receipt printer. So I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.